Rabbit and Bear, Rabbit's Bad Habits by Julian Guff and Jim Field and published by Hodder Children's Books. Our story begins when Bear is asleep in the dead of winter and he is awakened by somebody bouncing on his nose. And he wakes up and he realises that his honey has been stolen and his salmon has been stolen and all his fish eggs have been stolen. And then he thinks that he might actually be a little bit hungry. And so he goes outside and then he sees the snow. And the snow is so beautiful and then he decides he's going to build a snowman because he's a bear and usually he's hibernating when there's snow outside. So he is going to take the opportunity because that is the sort of bear that bear is. This little guy is Rabbit. Rabbit is a little bit grumpy. Also a little bit of a thief. But only because, well, Bear was sleeping. What did he need with salmon and honey and things like that? And this is super, super fun adventure. But here's my question for you. Did you know that rabbits eat their own poo? Did you know that? I did not know that. I did not know that rabbits eat their own poo. Only once though. Turns out, because rabbit explains the whole thing, turns out that the rabbits can't take all the yummy, yummy goodness out of the food they eat the first time they eat it. So they have to eat it again. As poo. Yeah, so that's what makes this book super, super readable, is you have all sorts of scientific facts, because it also talks about gravity. But the fact that rabbits eat their own poo, I think everybody should be reading this book, because that's what you find out when you read how awesome and gross, ew, is that. <laughs>